Alrighty, final round. Uh, the old Visions Helix opener. Certainly a keep, it's just awkward for sequencing since uh, I actually even have Island to cast my Visions off of. So I either Steam Vents or Island, and I think I'm going to err on the side of Steam Vents. And keep both of those as well. That way we can Helix, and Helix should uh, rebias any life lost. Even against Burn, being able to Helix a Goblin Guide makes sense. Alright. Um, so here... Here I think I want to suspend Vision. If this is um, Suicide Zoo, drawing the cards is going to be more important than uh, taking three damage because it's more about the combo rather than specifically just hits, hits from uh, the cattles. And keep both of those as well. Actually, maybe I should have got rid of the Spell Snare, since it really only counters to mere Battle Rage. Although, some lists do run more 2-drops. Go ahead and helix. Or I should have done it on the step links actually. First of all, it probably does more damage. Second of all, it plays around mutagenic growth. For some reason, I was thinking Apostle's Blessing that I could uh, spell snare. Thoughtsies. So that indicates no Tamir Battle Rage. After Nahiri, the question is, what are we minusing on? I think we have to go on the Wild and the Cattle. Now we die to Sack Land and Bolt, but if our opponent doesn't have a land, it's good for us. Alright. Oh, that's a great draw. Could get out of this yet.
All right. So, the great thing is we have spell spare for, for Tamir Battle Rage or Apostle's Blessing, which is the scariest card at the moment. Um, so this this allows me to either Cryptic Command, uh, Snapcaster, Block, Lightning Helix. And, and still just kill him if he takes one more damage. So yeah, we just win now. We lucked out thanks to that cryptic command. I think this game this game would have went a lot smoother had I just uh lightning helix the step links immediately. Uh Staticaster is good against step links. Not really anything else though. Cryptic's actually okay in this matchup. Considering if you treat it as a combo deck more than anything else, being able to tap them down and get another turn is very good. Uh, Shadow of Doubt it's not going to be great on the draw. Same with Spreading Seas. Wrath is good, though not great. Uh, Leak is good, I would say. So it's basically like Cryptic or the Land Destruction. Or Ancestral Vision. All of the all of these are good and bad in different ways. I think I'm just gonna skip out on these and and probably put them back in on the play, since they're they're the uh, most reactive and and bad against fast starts. All right, double serum visions bolt with a couple top heavy cards. Ugh. Hmm. Uh, you know what? We've been keeping these, so <laughs> why change now? Why change now? Alright, Swift Spear. Alright. Of course we had it. I think I actually want to start on Serum Visions. Since the Swift Spear is le at its least threatening right now. Perfect. Perfect. Go ahead and put the bolt on top, even though it's probably going to get shuffled away. A 
could always draw it with CERN visions if we really wanted to, but we probably don't want to. Alright, more Swiss beer action. It was a setup. Okay. Um, so I could draw the bolt and then cast a bolt on the cattle. And then next turn I'll be able to helix and bolt. Assuming I'm willing to get terrible mana for Cryptic Command, which I think I am. Other options are just just Helix, but then my next turn is fairly poor. Alright, I'm fine with this. We're gonna lose to most things here, but like Become Immense just kills us. Which isn't happening. Interesting. Alright, well. I have to kill the step lynxes, I think. Since our opponent's last hand is very likely a land. Last card in hand. And they very likely don't have lethal. <laughs> they need to draw a spell. Could have also left this up and actually just went for the kill. Although we can do that now. Just leave up Helix and that's not going to get anything relevant. So if our opponent's last card is just land, they can't realistically attack very well. If it's Bolt, we lose if we don't cast the Helix or if we don't block. So I could go block, mm, block helix is is bad because it just loses to become immense. So I think I just take it, go to one, and die to bolt if that's what it is. Ah. Oh.
Interesting. I guess our opponent had to play it that way, since if they cycled the Street Wraith, they would have just died. So yeah, it got him.